Hello, babies. Welcome back to another video. My name is Kay, and this is Crown Baller. First things first, before we even get into this video, honey, hit that red subscribe button down below. Join our team, come sit on our bench. We would love to have you here. Follow me on all of my social media. They'll be on the screen. If not, they'll be in the description box <laughs> below. Y'all know how this goes. So, without any further ado, let's get into this video. So, my babies, as you guys can see, I just wanted to try something different with my natural hair and i am legit just in love with her i never really do baby hair so this little situation i'm very impressed by i do have like a little white cast or whatever from the got to be glue that i used i kind of just slicked it down so it's kind of still there but that's okay i just love this style i think it's so cute it's super playful it's really summery super girly i did put clip-ins in as you guys will see in the video it's completely optional for you like you'll hear me say but I just wanted to add a little bit more volume. I'm about to go play in the game and it's on national TV. So I just wanted some extra volume and crispiness going on with this hairstyle. If you know what I mean? I'm not going to continue to yap because I definitely have to run out the door. But I hope that you all enjoy this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up and comment down below. I love you guys so freaking much. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. So oh, what's up my babies i just want to hop right into this video my hair is looking real dry crusty dusty and in need of help okay but we're gonna get to that i promise right now all i'm doing is separating my hair and where i want my braids to go so you guys can make this as big as short as thick as you want it like it's completely up to you so I am making my parts like extra straight and perfect and making sure it's in the middle of my head because y'all I have middle angle issues. <laughs> my part is always crooked. Anywho, after I do that, I am separating, as y'all can see, a crooked part, separating my two little pigtails. And now I'm gonna go into moisturizing my hair. So this is my little routine that I do. Um, I do have a video on like, adding a video adding moisture back into my hair and kind of like a wash day routine um so i will try to link that in the cards above or in the description box below hopefully i remember um so yeah i'm using some of my afro g pro vitamin leave-in conditioner and then i go in with this like do grow leave-in i don't really know exactly what it does it's a new product for me but i like to use it as a leave-in um just to kind of see if it's gonna give and retain some moisture and of course we got to have the oil which wasn't cooperating with me at the time so i'm just using all of these things to kind of like prep my hair before we actually are styling it because like y'all seen it was crusty and dry so we need moisture yes we do and i'm detangling it once it is detangled and this step is completely up to you if your hair is at a length that you like and you know whatever if it's not you don't have to use the clip-ins this is just what i did because i just needed a little bit of puff okay i need a little bit of length i was going on national television okay to play it in my game so i needed it to be as big as possible so i just added the shortest clip and all the way in the back and then the longer one toward the front of the ponytail side or whatever and now i have detangled it and so i'm just going to twist it up and get it out the way so i have done my other side and as y'all can see like look at the i mean aside from the color change like look it was cute right like it was cute whatever so i'm doing the same thing or i did the same thing to my little braid patch and now i am just parting off and kind of separating the braid so that it's easier for me so what i did was i kind of pinned down the two sides and then went and braided the middle braid um I, I did brush some baby hairs down just like the bare minimum i didn't take my grown hairs and try to you know euthanize them i just took the smaller smaller smallest hairs <laughs> outside of my hairline um and brushed them down and then i started my braid so i don't know if y'all know how to braid i know a lot of people always comment and say i can't do cornrows which it's really hard um you can do this same look with twists um like it's it would be just as cute i think so that's just another alternative if you guys literally can't braid <laughs> i didn't realize how many of y'all were out there and i'm so sorry um y'all know it wouldn't be a real video unless one of my roommates popped in and she gave me some coffee she's the best always so i have finished braiding my hair now i'm using these clear elastics to put on the ends and then i'm just gonna take out 
that braid, the rest of the braid, where the braid stops with my ponytail holder. I'm just gonna add a little bit of Eco Styler and slick little baby on down, okay? I was so surprised though, like when I was slicking it down, how much the clippings like blended. Like it was so sleek and, and chic. I mean, look at it. It was nice, I was very impressed. So I'm just using one of my ponytail holders and I'm putting little baby in a little bun. I just wrapped it around like two or three times and then on the second time I kind of stopped and twisted it around. So I'm literally gonna do the same thing to the other side. And <laughs> look at her, she is so cute. Like, stop. This little set that I'm doing, I'm using some Eco Styler and I'm just taking little pieces that were sticking out of my bun and I literally just twirl them around my finger with the Eco Styler on there. So like I twirl it, get a little bit of Eco Styler gel, twirl it again, grab another piece and do the same thing. This just kind of gives my little bun a little bit more, you know, natural or whatever. Um, so I don't know what you guys use to lay down your edges. Some of y'all use edge control. I haven't found one that works for me. So I just use this got to be glue gel. Now, a lot of people are like, it's like terrible for your edges, but as long as my edges stay moisturized, I haven't had any issues with this. So you guys can use your favorite edge control or gel to kind of lay down your little baby hairs. Y'all know this is not <laughs> a baby hair tutorial because we do not know what we're doing in the baby hair community, okay? We're just here, we try to blend in as much as possible, and then we just go along with our day. You know what I mean? Like, that's where we are with the baby hairs, because we don't know what we're doing, but it looks like we do, and that's all that matters. Fake it till you make it. That's life. So after I slick down my little babies or whatever, honestly, I just let it be. I'm just gonna use my scarf to lay everything on down. I left this on for maybe like an hour or so before I walked out of the house to go to my game. But honey, I really, real life, was in love with this cute little style, little spring, summer style or whatever. Here she is after the fact. But I love you guys so much. If you guys like this video, make sure you thumbs up, comment down below, and hit that subscribe button. I love you guys. Can't wait to see you in the next one. Mwah.